Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatu fillah A question was asked, please make a video giving advice on people who have been accepted into University of Medina and are preparing to leave in coming months, inshallah, how they can prepare. First and foremost, I would say that first and foremost, you should direct it to those people who have studied in the university. They can tell you exactly things that you need to, uh, uh, ex things to expect and ways to prepare. Uh, some of the ones you could probably post questions to are uh, the brother Abu Taymiyyah, who's currently in the Islamic University of Medina. Uh, the brother Sajid Lipman, who has a, a YouTube page as well. I think he's graduated. I'm not really sure. Uh, also, uh, Sheikh Mufti Munir. You could also, uh, you know, ask him or Sheikh Tahir, Sheikh Tahir uh, Wyatt. Or some of the ones who have actually studied in the university and been through that process from ground zero all the way. What I can offer you is just some basic advice. As I've offered people advice prior to this uh, about the Islamic University, people who are going. Uh, the main thing is more, more so uh, preparing yourself with Iman. Preparing in the Khayr Zad Taqwa. The best preparation is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is taqwa, and being humble, so that way you can accept the knowledge. Here you have a great opportunity, a great opportunity for the good in this life as well as the hereafter. رَبَّنَا أَتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِنَا ذَابَ النَّارِ O Allah, give us good in this life as well as the hereafter and protect us from the nar. You have a, 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 an opportunity to strengthen, uh, to, to, this is a, a means of tawassal in Allah Azza wa Jal, through al manafia You are making tawassal. You are seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by al manafia by beneficial knowledge. So, make sure you're sincere because it's ibadah. And the opposite of that, by having uh, doing it for the people in the dunya can be a destruction for you as an individual. As is mentioned in the hadith about the three in Al Awal Al Nas, Yukda Alehi Yom Al Qiyam Rajal Al Sushira Fuuti Abihi Farafuni Amu Farfa, Kala Fama Amal Tafiha, Kala Katal Tufika Hatta Sushidu, Kala Kadab, Walak Hatta Sushidu, Estushidu, Kala Kadab, Walakin the Kafa Alta Li Kal Hua Jari, Fakat Kil Tumma Umira Bihi Fusuhiba Waji Hatta Lukifinar, Kama Kala Nabi Salah Salam. So the, the first three who will be raised on the day of resurrection, one of them is a person who was martyred. And he will be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, what have you done for me? And he'll say, I fought until I was martyred. And then Allah will say to him, you lied. Kadhab. Kadhab. You lied. But rather you did it so that the people will say you were brave. And they did. فَقَدْ قِيلْ ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ لَوَجِهِ حَتَّ أُلْكِفِ النَّارِ And then this person will drag into the fire. And the second one is the one who was, you know, a scholar and a reciter of the Quran. وَالرَّجُلُ عَلَمَ الْعِلْمُ وَتَعَلَّمُهُ وَقَرَى الْقُرْآنِ قَالَ فَمَا عَمَلْتَ فِيهَا قَالَ قَرَتْتُ فِيكُ الْقُرْآنِ وَتَعَلَّمْتَ الْعِلْمُ وَعَلَّمْتُهُ وَقَرَتْتُ فِيكُ الْقُرْآنِ قَالَ كَذَّبْتُ وَلَكِنَّكَ فَعَلْتَ لِي قَالْ هُوَ عَالِمُونَ وَلِأَنْ لِي قَالْ هُوَ قَارِئُونَ فَقَدْ كِيُوْ ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ عَلَى وَاجِهِ حَتَّى وَلْكِ فِي النَّارِ So this is the one who, who came with knowledge. So it shows that these are, these are deeds that are عظيم in Islam. The one who's martyred. The one who does talab al-ilm and teaches it. Prophet Sallallahu said, خَيْرَكُمْ مِنْ تَعَلَّمُ الْقُرْآن وَعَلَّمُهُ the best of you is those. The best of you is those who, who learn the Qur'an and then teach it. These are great deeds, but if you do it for the wrong reason, they can be the deeds that take you to the hellfire. So, and then the third one, of course, is the one who was given wealth, and then he spent it in so many different ways. I didn't leave. There was not even a, a way that I left except that I spend it in your cause. And Allah will say, Kadabt, you lied. Rather, you did it so that the people say you were a spendthrift or you are a philanthropist. And it was said. You got that praise. 
and then he was dragged into the fire. Then he'll be dragged in the fire. So it shows us the importance of ikhlas. It shows us the importance of ikhlas. Have sincerity. Keep fighting sincerity. Because you're going to, the shaitan's going to come to you. Mashallah, I'm a jamiant student now. Mashallah, this. Or oh, I'm with the brothers. All the brothers have nice, beautiful, high thobes. Big beards. Where, you know, you're going to find all kinds of things. You're going to find cliques. You're going to find everything. You're going to find hizbiya. You're going to find everything there. So you're going to have to be careful and watch your nefs. So your pre pre preparation comes through taqwa la'iza wa jal. So ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also the taqwa, which is doing the commandments of Allah and staying away from the prohibition. So do your best to stay away from sin. Sin eats your talib al -ilm. Sin destroys talib al -ilm. Sin destroys your memory. So do everything you can to avoid sins. And increase your good. Increase your good while you're there. You're going to be in Medina. Be praying in the Prophet's Masjid. Get some dar. If it's one dar, if you're having trouble with the Arabic, I mean, do your homework in the Prophet's Masjid. Do your homework in the Prophet's Masjid. Take that ride and just sit there all day, whatever, because your job is to do talib al ilm. You don't have to work. You don't have family. You don't have, you know, I'm assuming. Do talib al ilm. Be serious and use this ni'mah min ni'amillah. Allah favored you over much of the creation, most of the creation, to be able to go and study at the feet of Ahl al ilm in Medina, in the Prophet Sallallahu Masjid, come on, you know, come on. So, uh, you know, avoid sins, avoid wasting time. The, and I remember Sheikh Muqbil, Rahmatullah he said this when we first got to the Maj, I remember, and I can't remember who was translating, I think it was Abu Bilal Swaidi, may Allah preserve him, or one of the brothers, yeah, because at that time he was one of the few who knew Arabic, amongst the Westerners, one, one of them. And so he used to translate. And there was three things. He said, focus on the Quran. Memorize it, do what you can of the Sunnah. And avoid kathra taqiyya waqal. Avoid getting into controversy. He said, she said, taking this one off, this one on. And this was in a place like Damad. So, you know, that's very important advice. That's nasiha dhahabiyya. That is golden advice from Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamu. So, definitely, Avoid that garbage. You're going to have people pulling at you. Come sit with here. Ahi, I remember when I first got to Medina myself, one of the first times I met some of the Westerners, a particular brother, won't say his name, alhamdulillah, student of knowledge, and he said to me, uh, you know, and this was in the haram. He said, don't go over there. You know, the brother, here's where the brothers sit, meaning supposedly this was the Salafi crew here. You know, this is where the brothers kind of sit, you know, but, you know, be careful of, over there or something like this. And I just thought to myself, I said, I'm not new to this for one. Number two, this is the Prophet Sallallahu Masjid. So I'm not tripping like that. I'm not going out on these cliques and stuff like this. I'm going to sit with whoever I want and there's ulama here and I, I'll just go with them. I don't need a clique. I don't need American, British, whatever clique. I'm going to stick with learning and benefit myself this great na'ma. So avoid those gatherings which take away from you. Any gathering that you're sitting and you feel that you're not benefiting and it's taken from your heart, it's taken from your memorization, it's taken from your khair, then avoid it. That doesn't mean you don't have some fun. That doesn't mean you don't exercise and you don't do other stuff. If you like to exercise, do that because I do believe it's important to be balanced, to get that blood flowing. You know, a person who's sitting all the time, they're going to need hijama a lot on their back and, you know, whatever else. Do that. Be balanced and benefit. So I hope that's some, some advice that can be beneficial to you. There's so much more to say, but I don't want to just keep blabbering. Uh, but, and I hope that, uh, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with a class with a bad and bless you and all those who are going to study with al and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with all with tawfiq and bless us to come closer to him and practice what we preach. So do your best, avoid those sins and practice what you're preaching. You know, learn a hadith and try to practice it. Focus on the Quran. There's just there's just so many benefits. And those brothers who studied specifically in the Jamia, they can give you much better advice and down home to the heart. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.